we would usually have to use a combination of Newton's laws and equations of motion in order to relate a force that's applied to an object to the motion of that object. So in an example that we have here, we have a tension force of 100 Newtons applied at an angle of 30 degrees on a 10, 10 kilogram object. The object moves 15 meters to the right and there's a frictional force of 20 Newtons. And the question here would ask something along the lines of calculate the final velocity or the velocity after 15 meters. And then we would need to start by calculating the horizontal component of the tension force, then the net force acting on that object, and then use Newton's second law to find the acceleration of that object and then find this appropriate equation of motion to determine the velocity of this object, which we find here is 14 0.14 meters per second to the right. Now once we have a concept of work, we can use the work energy theorem which states that the net work done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy. That can be written in a formula as net work is equal to delta EK or EK final minus EK initial where we remember that EK is our kinetic energy which is the energy as a result of an object's motion. So now what this allows us to do is we can, using the net force that is acting on this object, we can calculate the net work because we know that net work is equal to the net force multiplied by the displacement of the object multiplied by the cosine of the angle between these two. And the change in kinetic energy here is going to be the final kinetic energy, which is one half mvf squared minus the initial kinetic energy, and in this case this object was stationary, so the initial kinetic energy was zero. Our net force, as we've calculated here, is 66.6 .6 newtons. The displacement, we've been told, is 15 meters, and the net force and the displacement are in the same direction, so the angle between them is zero, and we have the mass of the object given as 10 kilograms, and then the final velocity is the only unknown here where we can solve for our final velocity to find that it is 14.14 meters per second to the right. As we can see, this is a far simpler method as it very easily relates work to energy and allows us to, without this long-winded method of going through net force and then equations of motion, it allows us to immediately, based on the force acting on an object, determine the motion of that object. It is important once again here because this reminds us that when we have a positive work that is done on an object, when the work done on an object is greater than zero, it means that the energy of this object would increase. As we can see here, this object has gone from having zero kinetic energy after having positive work done or a positive net force acting on it, the amount of energy that that object has increases. And then conversely, we know that if the work done object is negative, what that would mean is that the energy of that object decreases or energy is removed from that object. So we could say that that object would slow down.